the bell, my people, watch popping. The Ebo Blondie is bringing Popcaster back to your screens with that perfect blend of entertainment and pop culture. Now, it's the first show of the year, and I'm excited to say the list because we've got the stories flooding in already. Now, as you know, Bernard had a thing, and of course, we've got to talk about that because I want to know do we actually, do the audience actually enable bad behavior in this artist? And we've got a really tricky situation with a woman who slept with a judge to save her husband and is now facing divorce. What is this life, you guys? On the edge today, we need to talk about some dances at weddings because at the rate we're going, is getting out of hand. Now, my guests and I are ready, so let's dive right in. Welcome to Popcaster. Welcome back to the show, my people. We're about to get right into the discourse of the day. And of course, I've got to introduce you to my first guest of the year. Now, we've got the ever stunning Bolonle Babalola, our very own B.O.B. right here with us. How you doing, girl? I'm good. I love the hair. Purple is giving vibes. Thank New Year you. energy. Yes. Love it for you, honey. Yes. <laughs> and we've got a Nigerian marketing professional who happens to be a pro at events organization as well. Welcome to the show, Jubril. Thank Hello. you. How Thank you doing, you. man? I'm doing very well. Thank I like you. I like the energy I'm getting. Why are you people matching you with guys this hair? Like Oh, like, why are people mm. matching with you? <laughs> no, there's a bit, there's there, a, there, I woke up feeling thing. like I just needed to match energy from all the beautiful ladies. And you ladies were, were tuning in from wherever you were. You hadn't even seen us yet. Green. And I'm they were matching you. with our shoes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we should guys. have a fit calm somewhere. We actually I'm should. Now let's you. get right into our first conversation of the day. Now we started this year with vibes from Lagos Loves Damini. And as expected, the vibe was, you know, the vibe was not, it was not what we expected though. The vibe was not giving what we were supposed to give. Now timing went south and the audience wasn't happy, but they stayed till about 3.30 a.m. when he came to perform. Now the show's poor organization and Burner Boy's condescending behavior led to criticism across social media. Now let's hear what Burner Boy actually said to the audience when he decided to come on stage and perform. After I don't talk, say I keep pressing for Kubada. After I don't talk, say my mama dance for Fela. After I don't talk, oh Allah, I still love you. Now why are they here? So if you like, don't love me. Now go go. National news TV, they talk lie. They don't even know what's in the apple. I mean, I still they laugh there, but I don't say that serious thing. This was my life. They feel my life because of raw fish. Do they feel like? Uh -huh. Life you know is in my brother, you they find your own. Yeah, if I they keep to my distance, they are butcher. If I they go slow, I will not get better news about you as my land. If they cheat on my soul, and if you are struggle, I don't feel best for you. I don't feel best for you. Now, Burner Boy reacted to all of this by giving out a statement on Instagram, pinning the show's poor organization on a number of people, including Wonder X and Olisa Adibwa. Now, Burner Boy said he was there early and the fault was from the, organi the organizers who failed to address technical issues. Now, the organizers, on the other hand, said it was a huge success despite technical issues and the unusual delay. Now, Olisa Adibwa said he was responsible for securing the artist for the event, but was not part of the planning and organization. So the bottles were literally flying left, right, and center. Now, fans, of course, flooded Twitter with, with different and countless tweets bashing the event, burner, and those who stayed back till 3.30 a.m. just to be disrespected and humiliated, saying things like burner is the first person to show Nigerian Shige in 2023. And there was a lot of victim blaming of the people that stayed all through the time for that. Now, before any before any of the statements were released, you guys, addressing the, the entire issue that happened, what was your thoughts on the happenings? Let me start with you, Jubri, because it looks like it's boiling inside of you to just tell us. <laughs> it is boiling inside of me because, um, hmm. to be honest, when I saw the whole event um, promo and all that, I already decided that I wasn't going to attend because I anticipated something like this. Oh. I mean, uh, it, it's not today that... As a pro planner that you are, right? No, no, no apart, apart from it's that, today. apart from that. It's not today Bonner has been disrespecting Nigerians. Nigerians. And, I mean, like, <laughs> considering the fact that he's... <laughs> he's, he's here. I'm telling you, he's a great performer. Okay. No doubt in that. Yes, he's, no doubt. He's, I mean, exactly. And you go about in your music talking about how... Um, 
suppressed Africans have been, how uh, marginalized we've been, and then you act in a condescending manner towards to your them. fellow Nigerians. I mean, you, you, you just finished it all. Lack of respect, we, no zero appre um, appreciation. Um, he doesn't really, like, honor where he started from. That's yeah. how I see it. Because when you go to other countries, all he shows is hard outside Nigeria or outside Africa. You show up on time. Yes. Now, number one, you need to bear in mind that people are not aware of what is going on. Okay. Be it organizers' fault or yeah. whoever you blamed. You should have just come out or put something up on social yeah. media to say, I'm around, but we're having some technical we, issues. We were actually chill. just going to get right into that because I was going to say, we now understand that the delay was not his fault. But these people had been there for hours. I, I mean, a polite apology she would understand. have sufficed rather than gaslighting. Now, would you say the audience really enabled this bad behaviors by like staying behind, you know, to still get this kind now, of response? Something happened before the show. Ashake's first performance, Ashake showed up before 12. Ashake came on stage the time they said he was going to come on stage. A couple of people missed the show because they were expecting typical African time to come late. show up late. And they were like, no, we didn't pay 70000 for you to come early and not make us miss he what we paid for. Time. He came on time. He kept to time. That is someone that we know that, okay, something, be, you something different angry. is happening. You are angry. No, it's not like that. <laughs> they just want now. You now decide to come 3.30. Wait, first, the first question is, don't you people have what to do? You put it here till three days. So help you, me. You read, no, please. Like, Let me hear okay. you. So I don't even go for such shows, so I can't be bothered. Exactly. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll make reference to something um, Basket Mouth said when he was organizing a Dickley Goods show. He said yeah. it, it beats his own imagination that you put up a show, you put up a time, and mm -hmm. then people come late for it, or you even start late. Like, if you if you snooze, you lose you snooze, on you both lose. parties. Like, and to be honest, I don't care whatever it was that he said was the reason. I feel it's it's part of him to be late to Nigerian shows because he has never been early to and, any show that I know. Maybe you can correct and me. And then the statement he made, the arrogance for me. You ah. said when I talk, say my mama be waiting the dance for fella. Then when I talk, say I shoot person, I keep person for Nigeria. Is it a lie? Did you or didn't you? Eh, now that's eh, the question. Eh, so the well, thing eh, is, you don't come down, on stage down, in arrogance. Calm down, your head. No way. Calm down, you don't fire your head. See, I want to even post some things on is social media. Is this red head I do people? I just say that. No, they no. fire on your head right now. <laughs> there is fire on my See? head because Nigerians too are quite enabling. We you hear, allow these things. Do you, do you understand? understand? Like, if everybody goes out and then the next time they say a burner show, nobody shows up. In his life, he will not try it again. Uh, we, well, you said you don't show up. I said, if it happens to you, will you show up next time? You no, I won't, I won't show up. See I've, what I've... happened in Ghana. Let me give you an instance of what happened in Ghana, that Whiskey didn't show up for the show. At the end of the day, when Whiskey released the statement, he said it was due to bad planning, issues with the events, place they chose and everything. But Always. then he went on to apologize. I'm sorry. Do you understand? He apologized like, Always I'm sorry, to... yes, that I promised to put up a show for you guys free, that he's working with the organizers and his team to put it together. What did That's how you do things. Although I'm not a whiskey fan, but that is how you do things. Okay, let me ask you now. So this is what this is what Burner Boy said. He said in his statement that it's either it's either he had to pull the plug, that's not do the show at all, or the three come options. late, or sue the organizers. Which one would you have rather he did? Because I mean, he came he came late. I mean, he did one of them. With bad sound, but pull the plug or. Something else. There were like three different options. Yeah, and had to sue the organizers. Yeah, sue the organizers. As well. So the thing is, I feel you could have as well come late when they sort out the issues they wanted, but you would have put up something. Same. A way. lot of these guys are following you on social media, guys. We're having a bit of technical issue, but we'll be out soon. Do you understand? Or the organizers exactly. will come on like, up, apologize. Let me hear you. I feel there's like it's, thing, it's right there. Let me hear you. There's a thing about Bonner's personality that okay. would have gone well for him if he had put out a message, as she said. Like, yes. Bonner is very upfront with his personality. Like, if he had come out to say that, ah, my people in his typical Bonner style say that, okay, oh, I'm, I do, I'm live, oh, do you understand? And there's, be, there's been a bit of a technical situation. I'm going to make it up to you guys. It's going to be a banger. Like, just chill out for me. Do you get, say something like that. And then when he came out, it would have been all well and fine. Now, he didn't stop at coming late. Not Where me I had issues with what the 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 disrespect, the disrespect the like the why are you talking to me? Okay, I so, to come and see so do you. Feel Hello? That, I mean, do you feel that there, there, there are a lot of, there's a lot of victim blaming now, people blaming the um, the, the audience that you did not 
You don't have self-love or self-respect for yourself. Why would you stay stay for something that long? Do you think that Nigerians actually deserve the shige they get from this artist? Mm. Please, Please. Do you shige. think we deserve it? Because no. I'm a Nigerian, I, I, I don't want to say that we deserve the shige we, we get. But it. It's a matter of we've been beat down to the point where we are used to this shige. But me, I've not been beat down to that extent. So I'm going to remove myself. myself. Okay. Okay. Honestly, honestly, I won't blame the concert girls. After spending thousands of money to watch you perform, you got dance, choir. You will dance, dance, dance. I mean, once you see the money finished, money isn't easy to come by these days because, so, oh well, I mean, it's that time of the show where we take a quick break. And once we come back, we'll dive right into our next story. So keep it locked. New Central TV, Africa's number one storyteller, has come with the best of both worlds. With a combination of news app and live TV, we ensure that you keep track of the latest headlines, breaking news, and in-depth analysis from professional journalists from around the continent. Download the New Central TV app on Android and iOS and get started today. Don't forget to follow us on New Central's social media platforms. New Central, Africa first. Welcome back to the show, Ndi Bam. Now, this story is a little tricky because on one hand, it's like she did something good. And on the other hand, it's not so good. So I'll let you be the judge right after we watch the video. Keep it locked. My husband was sentenced to 30 years imprisonment. I went to beg the judge for his release, but the judge refused. He, ins he said for him to release my husband, I should sleep with him because we didn't have the money for bailing my husband. I begged and begged and begged, but the judge refused. After some time, I gave in, and my husband was released. When he came out, he asked how he was released, where I got the money from. I told him the truth. I told him I slept with the judge, and that's how he was released. Now he's filing for divorce. He wants to divorce me. I did it out of love. I didn't want the kids to grow without their father. Do I really deserve this divorce? B.O.B., you don't seem to be, you don't seem to be getting, you don't seem to be feeling her. She's in tears right now. Okay, before we even go right into the fact that whether she deserves the divorce or not, I mean, she says she didn't want her kids to grow up without a father. I mean, it's from, she, you would see it as she's coming from like a very emotional point of view. It's, I mean, it's better to have a father in the house no, not to have than to have a father in prison. So if the guy uh, commits again next time, you go, go and sleep well, with him. Well, I mean, you, you, you are making a case. So you don't make it. Okay, was she right? Was she right? Let me start with you, Jibril. Was she right <laughs> to want her kids to not grow up without a father? She is absolutely correct. But before we go that far, uh, I have questions. Okay. Number one, <laughs> she not kids with this. <laughs> What's going on exactly? The way she's talking, I'm caught in the whether <laughs> she's acting or not. Like number real? two, she, 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 yeah. number two, okay. What did the husband do? Thirty years, something, something. Yeah, thirty years. What is prison. what the hell is the legal system so in that country? So you don't go for appeal or anything. You just they don't have they don't have the money to bail. Now she said they don't have the money to bail. They are not rich enough. So basically, they probably set bail, but they don't have so money now, to bail. So now the reputation and the judge, his career and everything is in line right now for this thing she just revealed if it's true because this feels like she's reading the scripts to me it you feels like she's just acting for social media sake it doesn't i don't like i mean but there are a lot of cases like this real. that have come online with people say i mean people have given different reactions to cases like this that have actually happened or they have put up so if this happened. is real that judge is going to lose his job number one you know that hypothetically already. speaking if 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 this is real okay. right it's it's very unfortunate what it is what what this is what's going on with her and I want to try and see things from her perspective while also looking at the husband. Number one, what sort of husband is that? Why are you even in How a position you where you are getting 30 years in prison and yeah. then sworn out of the love and care she has for you? Has to be in that position. Has to be in the position to have to sleep with a judge. Uh, come, hold on, hold on. Come, come, hold on. Down. Come, hold so down. Come, let's down. Say, let's even say she exhausted all forms of options. options. And that was what she resorted into. I don't think, I, I think it's rushed, except if there is more to this story, which I believe there is. 
because she cannot tell us. But the, obviously, the husband did not make the decision picture. with her. Just she made the decision to help ne, her husband mm. because he came out and now said, when he found out that that's what she did, he's, he wants to divorce her. Just Negodu Mooke now. That's what did the man do? Good question one. Number two, <laughs> that she now had to do that to get him out. Bro, was there money in the house? Number one. <laughs> Number two, she did it out of love. That's how women used to put yourself in trouble. You will do things for man because okay, of love. Okay. The man will now come okay, back and now, turn it back in your now head. Now that we are going to do this point, I want to ask you guys, does she really deserve the divorce like that is set in front no, she of her now? No, I, she don't, I don't think she do you does. Think? You think she from, does? From this part of the story, but I, I, I don't know why in my guts. I just feel like there is something, there is more to this. If it was you, will you I, divorce her? You. Under this circumstance, no, I wouldn't. Oh, well, you wouldn't? I wouldn't. Okay, so is this a height that you will go for your partner? Is this something you could do for your partner? I would exhaust all options before no, I, I do before this. Before you do no, this. I, I mean, she has tried all the options. No, no I don't think so. Else. I'm sorry, I, I don't think I would do you this. You wouldn't. I won't. You will sleep in jail. He will stay there. He will look for money. He will look for money. He will look for it together. He will look for money. Ah, mm. you people. <laughs> I like the determination in you guys. But tricky, tricky is the situation. But it's not as crazy as what we're about to show you guys on the edge right after the break. Keep it locked. Moving on to the age of the day, we've all got certain preferences when it comes to weddings. For, and for some people, this is absolutely cool. I really need to hear from you, so let's check this video out. Honestly, I would have the bouncers lift her up on their shoulders and toss her right out the event. Cause why? 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 Oh my God, okay, let me just ask you guys. Is this dance too much for a wedding? It is extremely overly irritatingly too much. Ah! It is <laughs> off real. The it's charts. embarrassing. I mean, do you know the worst part? She's on the bridal train. That's why she's wearing bridal train. Bridal train. You know when these these days, like, this like bridal party will come out and You're dance, 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 give all the energy. Trouser. You're wearing a dress. You're supposed to be a lady in a dress. Ah. Uh. And then your whole tight and everything, you're even splitting uh, on top of somebody uh, at a wedding. Is, is it splitting? Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Is it splitting for me, my dear? Ladies and gentlemen, please, bouncer, take her. Correct. Away. Quickly, quickly, yes. with the quickness. Bouncer, take her. I mean, what me, would you... I don't, even, I don't know what my reaction would be as a husband. What would you do if this was your wedding? Like, dance or was... trash? Are you going to dance with the person or trash out straight, quickly? My trashing. I would even... Trashing. I would tell my wife straight up, we are where, no longer associated with this person. Where do you even know this person from? No, we won't get That's into that. That's the it is our what sort of day. friends mm. do they have? What sort of circle of friends do they have? And then secondly, you should have given them some form of orientation. Because ah. funny enough, this is not the first. I've seen a couple of videos like this Same. at weddings that you just see them ah, giving it their all. Is in, in, night party in, where they get the party, party, party. There is anybody that should that has a right to give their all. It is the couple. Come let on. the husband, the no, wife. I'm not saying you shouldn't have dance fun. Dance the hell let out. Be, do you get? Let there be dance, 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 and everything. But hello, be. If you are a chick, there's a limit to there's what you're doing. There's a limit, you guys. As a matter Please. of fact, except if their own wedding does not carry after party, there there is a time for that kind Move of dance. Move to the club. Go, go and go finish exactly. up there. Okay, but I mean, for me, I will trash you <laughs> with the quickness. I mean, you will be trashed. I will be trashing with the quickness. But hey, that's just me. I mean, are you guys kind of feel it too? 2023 is already looking fantastic like i said last week relaxing and being taken care of is the goal it's the Absolutely. absolute goal yes for the year. i don't want to be stressed by nobody indeed bam it's about that time for us to get out of here so you know i'm going to be blowing you sweet kisses and looking forward to hanging with you next week now until then yeah guys have a nice day <laughs>